As a videographer who mainly works alone or just wrangles family and friends to help out with shooting events, I needed a microphone solution that would give me professional quality audio with minimal hassle. That's why I chose Rode Microphones. I'm actually shooting this video right here using my primary and secondary cameras for video. Uh, the primary camera being a Canon 6D Mark II with a Rode Video Mic Pro Plus mounted on top of it. And my B camera is a Canon Rebel T6i with one of the Rode wireless microphones mounted to it. Same one that I'm using right here. For the on the street interview that I did with Paul for Shower Up, I do apologize for all the road noise. I had shot that with a three camera setup. Three cameras, three camera shot? Wow. I can merge them all in post and cut between angles. So. All right. I, I don't, I'm looking at you? Yeah, just looking at me. Just yeah. if you could start talking about how Shower Up started. With the primary being the Canon 60 with the Rode video. And two other cameras, in fact. My Rode Video Mic Pro, pictured right here, is actually mounted to a Sony AX33. And I had the Canon Rebel set up with the wireless lav microphone that you can see Paul wearing in the shot. But because we had to move across the street to get the sun out of Paul's eyes, I forgot to turn the transmitter back on when we started shooting. So I was able, I lost out on this amazing audio, and by the time that I realized it in post-production, it was I was already having to travel to attend other events. So it kind of keeps together. Are you ready right now? Yeah, we're rolling. Oh, okay, all right. Yeah. Um, I've also used Rode microphones not only to capture stuff on the street, but also to cover national political conventions as I'm trying to start my videography career. And I've been very impressed with the product so far, and hopefully we'll continue to be using more and more Rode products over the years. One of the things I would also like to point out about the making of this video is that the music was licensed from a Nashville-based company called Soundstripe, soundstripe.com. The artist is also a Nashville-based artist named Stephen Keach, and his song Far From Home I thought was a fitting title for the topic of the video, where it is reaching out to some of our friends and providing help for the people who don't have homes themselves.